in today's video we are opening the 2021 kind of older now mystery power box holiday edition and also the 2022 and the most recent 2023 that just came out uh a few months ago so yeah let's do this let's start with the most recent one 2023 by the way guys speaking of holiday mystery bo uh, power boxes the new one 2024 should come out pretty soon i if i remember correctly Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, for, uh, first of all, before we continue, Star Deck Haiba, potentially. It's a really cool... Oh, yeah, the movie packs. The one I really want, the movie pack. Okay, so let's see. First of all, Dark World, Treasure Deck. Okay, not bad. Yeah, if I remember correctly, guys, every single, like, around October of every year, that's when you see the brand new, you know, Holiday Mystery Boxes from that year. So, the 2024 should come out pretty soon, man. Uh, so, yeah, keep an eye on your local Walmarts, local Meyer. I don't think Target does this, so uh, yeah, so pretty much just your Walmart. And so far, so good. Dang, man. Spirit Ruler, Genesis Impact, and Rising Rampage. Not bad. Right, let's begin this with Blazing Vortex, the Starlight Potential. Let me know in the comments, guys. Are you a fan of MJ Holdings Mystery Power Boxes or not? Let me know. And also, Sacred the Beast, or Tree Beast. What the heck? <laughs> let me know if you guys think these are like a scam or just not like that good or maybe they're good are, are you guys a fan or uh, good value let me know your thoughts uh genesis impact if you ask me you guys i truly don't think these are scam guys uh they might some of them may not be that good of a value but there's a few they're actually kind of nice i'm gonna lie yeah i wouldn't call these a scam uh maybe not that great of a product a lot of the times you know what i mean uh wait oh dang yeah collections rare uh set by the way so yeah i'm kind of like a kind of like a fan of these products because they are fun to open man now wrestling rampage this is not first edition so there's no there's no potential of getting a starlight unfortunately i believe these come from uh those mini boxes or these special edition boxes which there's just unlimited no starlights unfortunately but I was gonna say uh decent secret rares potential at least though let's go with the blister battle of legends and uh, also let me know your thoughts which of the mystery boxes or holiday mystery boxes of today's video you think is the best uh, overall right 2021 2022 or 2023 and most importantly wait evil twin uh what do you i mean what should in your opinion what should mj holding do about the new mystery power boxes you know what should they add? Oh, by the way, Karibo's leaves. Kind of cool. What should they add? What should, What do you want in those mystery power boxes, man? Uh, Let's see. Yeah, you, you know, me personally, guys, the Monster Box came out in 2021 or 2022. The Monster Box has so much value. Just give us as much as value as possible. Right? That's my thing. Wait. Oh, Shining Angel for last pack tragic all right let's try 2022 mystery power box limited edition two birds packs one uh two loose packs one legacy pack with you go deck mystery item we can potentially get the starter deck kaiba with the ultimate blue eyes white dragon and i think that's like the main thing yeah like the structure deck so yeah let's see all right here we go let's see so yeah if you ask me just give us more product to open more packs i i, I mean i do kind of like the fact that they uh, add like a uh a structure deck in every single box which by the way oh wait wait no wait, we did we did it's one of those small ones with just a plastic oh okay okay i mean anything with the blue eyes is actually re uh, really good right always always you cannot go wrong with it speaking of wish man come on sorry horizon invasion of chaos like all the reprint that's good oh we got a little figure wait a little toy figure wait wait another wait Hidden art, uh, summoners, and baby dragon, or is this a thousand dragon? <laughs> this is cool, man. Also, I don't mind when they put something like this in there, man. I'm pretty sure most of us, most of us, if not all, we cool with getting something, uh, something like this, right? Dang, man, this is awesome. By the way, man, shout out to my boy Rocky Sarasano, man. Rocky Sarasano is the one that sent me all this stuff to open for him. So yeah, Rocky, you need to put this in your key shame, my guy. If you don't. Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit upsetting you know <laughs> let's start with hidden summoner so far this is my favorite just because of that uh keychain let's see refusion ultra poly okay cool prank kids goes and match and mayakashi return that's a cool looking card all right 
Cybernetic Horizon. Yeah, man. I mean, I'll be, I'm gonna go to all my WalMarts in the past in in, in the next couple of weeks to uh, get search for the next uh, for the new one. Oh, oh no, no hits, unfortunately. Do this pack, Yugi. Do this pack, Yugi, man. It's such a disappointing or such a disappointed uh, set, in my opinion. There's no ulties. I mean, that just makes no sense at all. Brain control, Buster Blader, Life for Sword, and Spell. Wait, one more. Card of Sadie. I mean, really iconic cards, right? But why is it that my boy Kaiba gets the ultimate rares, but not Yugi, man? I don't know. I don't feel that. I mean, look, I love you. I mean, I love Kaiba more than Yugi, me personally. But I was hoping Yugi get some, you know, get some love when it comes to his product. So, anyways, speaking of ultimate rare potentials, come on, Engraged Battle Ox. I'm calling a pot of green ultimate rare. Come on. Oh, White Dragon Ritual and Different Dimension Dragon. Now let's finish this 2022 power box uh, with Ambition of Cast. And this is an older rare print. Uh, it doesn't show the year, but if I had to guess, I'm gonna go ahead and say 2017, maybe 2011, which yeah, in my opinion, better than the 25th, right? The cards look older, they feel, look at that. The color looks kind of similar to the original prints, right? Ryokoki, anti-aircraft. Come on, smash your ground. Engraged Battle Lux and Tarot King Salman. I remember playing this card, man, me personally, because... Wait. Yeah, 2,400, five stars. That's pretty good, actually, back then. So, cool. we got Creepy Grandpa for last pack. Let's go. Now, before we open up this 2021 Mystery Power Box, which... We could potentially get the zombie structure deck, which is really, really good. Before we do that, though, I do have a little special opening real quick. And not one, but two of this chaos boxes, man, for $10. These are actually low-key really, really good, man. Let me show you. Here we go. The reason why I think these are actually kind of nice is because they're only 10 bucks, And you get value, like, always. You know, you get, you know, sleeves, which are usually, like, 4 bucks, Maybe even $5 sometimes, you know? You get a light pack. I don't even know why they add that there. And then you get two packs, which sometimes they're actually kind of nice. So, uh, uh, Blazing Vortex, potential for a Starlight Rare and Tactical Masters. Not bad. You know what? Speaking of, you know what? Let me get rid of this light pack first, which, I mean, you could potentially get a hollow out of this light pack. So, I guess they're not that horrible. But, oh, speaking of which, Celestia Magician. Okay. I'll take that. Now, Tactical Masters. Uh, Collector's Rares right let's see anti-spell did we get something our screen ghastly glitch i guess not starlight blazing vortex shafts it up starlight rare pots starlight rare uh i forgot any oh jama pink i'll take that oh arm dragon thunder level seven i like that yeah man shafts princeton one of my favorite characters of uh Yu-Gi-Oh gx so yeah Arm Dragon Thunder level 7. Shass it up. Another one. Let's see. Come on. Let's, let's get different uh, sleeves at least. Oh, we got the same ones, unfortunately. Look, man. You can never go wrong with sleeves, right? Never, ever. Another light. Oh, power. Okay. Two times. Oh, two potential for Starlight Rares. Let's go. All right. Let's get rid of the light edition. Can we get back to back hollows, though? That would be cool. Oh, Scrap Iron Signal. Okay. Another shot for another Shaz Princeton card, hopefully. Did you the bug? Why? Back to back Ultras? <laughs> I mean, they're not the greatest. I mean, at least not that one, uh, this one, but back to back Ultra, that's actually really impressive. The odds of that happening, man, to Ultra back to back is actually insane. Uh, Power of the Elements, Pote, come on. One of my favorite sets of all time, really. Can we get another one? Oh, Melfi Staring Contest. I mean, that was pretty good, though. Okay, now, finally, 2021. Uh, yeah, again, treasure decks are really cool uh, in this set. Also, I just noticing Stardust Overdrive is really nice. Dimension of Chaos is really cool. Blue Eyes by Dragon. Uh, all the rare prints is always nice. So, yeah, let's get one of these, and I'll be happy about that. Come on. Oh, uh, no, it's one of those mod decks. Uh... Wait, what is this? A to C Dragon Buster Cannon. I mean, I don't think I've seen this before. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Guys, let me know. Is this good or not? I don't know. And you know what? Let's keep this one as a mystery. Let's open it up. Ish. 
pack at a time. And first of all, we got Fisigashi. Fisigashi is not that great. I would say this, man. It's not the greatest, but it does have the summon skull. Uh, yeah, man. So I do like these just because of, of the potential of getting a summon skull. Here we go. Let's get, uh, let's actually pull it. Red, red, uh, red gadget. Is this uh, like the new uh, QCRs from the 2024 Megatons? I think it is. Bird. Oh, ho, 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 our speed manifestation. I call it, man. Look, this is the, this is why I think this set is actually amazing, man. What a pack. Next up is Hidden Summoner. So far, man, the pack selection is not that great, but we did get lucky with the uh, with the first pack. Preparation of Rites is in here. Okay, cool. Prank Kits. Refusion. Ultra. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait did we open this before? Uh, uh, I think we opened this already. <laughs> Yoko the Grateful Mayakashi. Actually, we did, man. We did. I just opened this maybe like 10 minutes ago or not even 10 minutes ago, and I already forgot, man. That's actually kind of scary, man. Okay. Code of the Duelist. Okay, cool. Code of the Duelist is not something, or it's not a set that uh, we open that often. So, I'm cool about that. Pulls Mines. Air Cracking. Motivating Captain. Okay, that's cool. Castle Link. Wait. Oh, that's a Salmon. The 2400 Salmon, right? Uh, 2400 uh, Attack. Five Star, right? Uh, Is that Giga Giga Giga? Oh, no, no, no. Who's that? I don't know, man. Uh, it looks really cool, and I'm pretty sure I've seen this guy. I just cannot think right now. Let's keep going. Let's see. Now we got Breakers of Shadows. Another set, man. Another pack that we don't open too often. So, Super Heavy Samurai. <laughs> Dang, man. Dragon by Camera Tech Rampage Dragon. That is a really cool looking car, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You get the uh, Super and the rare on top of that yeah so far not too shabby wait another one breaker shadow okay another one i'll take it let's get a hit come on it's myth draco face off ah oh, ah oh, dang it man again that set is not the greatest but it's something we don't open too often so wait one more one last pack oh wait we got something good legacy of the valley okay i'm pretty sure but oh first edition too Nice. Potential for ultis. Uh, for the ghost rare, right? Come on. Let's make it, guys. Last pack magic or tragic. Come on. Snapdragon. Gergronic Guardian. That guy. This other guy. Wait. Wait a second. Interplanet. Right purple. <laughs> what the heck, man? Number 39. Wait, do we got something? Oh, we got a hollow. Bunjingi hair. Which is, uh, yeah, not bad. Oh, Ghost Trick Skeleton. I'll call this last pack magic, you guys. Thank you for watching this, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.